Hi, I'm Kim Brown. Glad you could join me today. And with us also today is Jeanette Van Oefelen from the Netherlands. She is an advanced faster EFT practitioner. Welcome, Jeanette. Hi, Kim. Thank you. Nice to be here. Tell us, how has faster EFT helped your life? Well, in many ways, and in many ways more than I had expected. Uh, it was three years ago that I was having big problems with my legs. And I've tried many things and it didn't help. And in a certain moment I was working on crutches and I felt very uh, limited. So I, I really went to search on the internet. And uh, first I found EFT and I thought, oh, that's so I started tapping and I thought, oh, that's interesting. And I think one or two days later, I Googled again for EFT and then Robert showed up with fast EFT. And I was, I was really impressed and I started on tapping and the first videos with Robert I saw and it was in Habilitat. And what I liked very much was that uh, many trainers and coaches, they have, uh, it's also perfect when you see them on video. It's, uh, uh, it's uh, the scenery, it's perfect, it's photoshopped. And when I loved, it was so real what I saw. It was Robert and a guy in Habilitat. Uh, it was hot there, so they were sweating. They were just wearing t-shirts. But the conversation that was going on was very real. He was testing the drugs. And also what I heard. So I came in the, the, uh, the healing magic the YouTube videos and I've been I from one moment to the other I was doing it for days every free moment I had I went to YouTube and tapped along and I was fascinated and I felt that it was doing good to me um, so yeah I went to his website and I first I thought to do the home study uh, because I didn't know I, I didn't want to wait for Robert to be nearby and then I think it was in the same week I bought the home study and I uh, bought my first live level one because he was coming to Budapest then. And that's about a little more than two years ago. And since then, I've been doing it more and more and more. I loved to be in, in the live seminar. And of course, then I met other practitioners uh, who became my tapping bodies. And I've been doing many sessions since then, giving many sessions, and I started up uh, my practice. Now, you used to be a social worker. How is Fast EFT different than what you did as a social worker? Yeah, I've been a social worker for years. I've been learning all kinds of therapies. I've been, uh, I've been learning for shiatsu therapists, uh, many kind of, uh, how you call it, physical, uh, therapies uh, so I've been trying to help myself and other people in many ways and uh, and people were happy that I was helping them but in a way I felt it was not enough it was not really changing also for myself and the big difference in fast CFT is that I feel you can really change and that's because you can you work with the subconscious and you work with the mind and to the system, it's not only the tapping, many people think fast EFT is tapping, but it's much more, it's a thinking system. And still, every time I, I doing seminars with Robert or I'm reading about it, I think I realize every time I start to understand it more and more, and it's, you can really change uh, your memories. I've been, by that, you can change your, your past you don't change life because it's happened and it's gone but when I feel when I change memories I have and I had me uh, bad memories of my childhood uh, very serious very violent uh, and I'm changing them and it it's um, it's it's changing all your your physical system as well and I've, I, in the years I've been doing this, I've been working on myself a lot, but also a lot uh, in the sessions I got by other practitioners, by really changing memories, uh, I 
started to have a kind of happy childhood because for years I was telling about how hard my life had been uh, and how bad my father was and how difficult life was. But by changing memories, even though I was at past 50 years old, uh, I got more happy memories and they, 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 I created them, but also they, like they, my subconscious was putting them up to me. And uh, because there has happened uh, bad things in my childhood, and also with my father, it had been difficult. But then also I started to remember that my father was also making beautiful toys for us. And, uh, and in general, I feel much better, much easier. Uh, I myself in the last, especially I feel in the last year, uh, I changed a lot. Uh, I, my life is much easier. I'm a much easier person for myself and for people around me. Uh, so my life is easier. I'm easier. I'm happier. Uh, I appreciate my life much more and people around me, my parents, my child, myself. I'm loving myself much more. Um, so that's a big difference big difference and I think it's also a different kind of psychology what we think uh, of course it's a big change in uh, if you see yourself as a victim or a creator or uh, like with addiction if you think if you believe it's a disease or it's a choice those uh, and the, uh, the, the, the belief system has uh, very strong uh, things like there are no broken people it's it sounds very simple uh, but you sometimes you see how obstructed people get by the idea but I'm broken I'm all <laughs> and it's such a relief to realize that I'm not broken that you're not broken uh, because it brings back the power of my life to me into my hands uh, and I can create and can do whatever I want so it sounds like you're saying that perception has a lot to do with it, what you're focusing on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I, I think also from our family culture is, and I, but I think also the culture in the country I live, maybe in all the world, it's much easier to be the victim. You have always something to talk about with your friends, to complain, and they are doing it wrong, or the government, or the church, or the teacher, or your mother, or your father, or your child, your children, the neighbors. Um, but if they are doing it, I'm helpless. I cannot change anything. And the, since I'm realizing uh, in a deep level that I am doing it to myself, and... Uh, and um, that's a big change, and that's that's perception. How I and, and that's uh, since I realize it, uh, my past doesn't change, but the way I perceive it, uh, and how do we say it? Uh, uh, when you change the way you look at things, the things you look at begin to change. Mm -hmm. Didn't make it myself, <laughs> <laughs> but it's one of my favorites. And, and it's, it's all about perception. And, and it's a big relief. And uh, I'm very happy I found it. I'm very happy I found Robert. Um, and I'm totally inspired. And, I'm, uh, and, and the fun is because now in, in the last year, this is my full-time job. And, uh, and so it's a nice way to make money, but the best part of this is that I'm so happy every time I give a session because it's really because I'm really able to help people and that makes me very happy already. So you've been to Habilitat, so you, and you've been several times, yep. you have worked with people who struggle with addiction. Can yes. they actually change their perception? Is that possible? Yes, yes. Everybody can, and uh, and of course we are in a way we are programmed, and we all have our own program, and it's important uh, when you say you do it to yourself. Of 
course, if you are abused as a child, it's not something I believe you've chosen or it's your fault um, because uh, people should not do that. Adults should not do that to children, but it happens. But it's up to me now if I keep repeating the story in my head uh, or, if, or if I change the story. But I like what my father did. He is dead for years. Or what he did to my mother, they were divorced for 30 years, something. So it's not happening anymore. Uh, but I can repeat the story here again and again. And that gives me a reason to eat too much or to drink too much or to use heroin or whatever. And so with the people in uh, Habilitat or also here, uh, when you work with addicted people, it's so you, you just, it's, I think it's important to to work on, uh, and that's also the good thing in the fast EFT addiction protocol. We work on the on the drugs and on the drivers. So what's brought us to using drugs, um, and that's pain. It's always pain. Things that happen to us that we could not handle as children, um, and we started to build our life on it. Um, and so you have to work on that, and then people can change that. And, and also it's a part of understanding how it works. Um, and if you get it and if you work and if you're ready to work on it, and sometimes it's hard for people to change it because if you have built all your identity on your problem, who are you without your problem? But uh, I've seen with people in Habilitat, they have, of course, they have gone through a lot, most, so they are really motivated. And sometimes they are not, of course, they are different. Uh, but in one session, you can do so much. And they have many, many people have been to many treatment centers already. And I've seen, and that's also what makes me so happy every session. Uh, I'm amazed every time as well, because I just do a process and uh, miracles happen. And if people have that experience and feel that they finally uh, feel a kind of relaxation in a two hour session um, and you you can you see it it's it's not fake it's all really happening there that people say after one or two or maybe three or four sessions that they don't feel addicted anymore and so everyone can do it so why do you think it works. Why does faster EFT work? Is it just positive thinking or is there something deeper there? Uh, it's not just positive thinking because uh, if that was enough, I had changed many years ago. Um, it's really, you have to be brave enough to go to the biggest shit you ever, that ever happened in your life. So that's also what we say. We go to the worst of the worst. And, but the good part of that is that you don't have to tell it to me. So, um, and that I don't have to hear it all. <laughs> so I can bring you to, I can ask you what was the worst that ever happened in your life. And you can say, well, it's enough if you say I was nine years old, it was in the kitchen or the play garden or at school or, and because in the moment I'm asking you that you are there already and you can work with it and you don't need to tell it all to me. I don't even have to know what happened or what, or to understand what's going on because we all have our own unique system. Um, so if you're, if you're brave enough to go there and trust, just trust on yourself, on your practitioner. And that's always what I say to my client go there and i promise you by the time you will leave this room you will feel better because of course that's also part of my job uh, to let them to be whole again when they leave not to bring them to the shit and then say okay goodbye <laughs> see you next week and that's what's happening in many therapies you have to tell all your story and you are set because every time you that's what we don't realize many times every time you tell your story, you feel it, you're there again, and your body is reacting. So the pain is there, the tears are there, and then the session is passed. And that's the big difference. We go there, 
in a faster EFT session, you go there and you change. You change your perception, you change, you get rid, that's why we use the, the tapping, you get rid of the emotions and it's amazing, sadness, anger, it's all, you can get rid of it. And that's what, what is surprising people so much. You feel you relax, you really get rid of it. And it's a big difference in getting, uh, get, letting go your emotion or pushing them down. Mm. And we've been learning all our life to push it down or to push it away or to drink it away or to eat it away. But, and you can see the movement pushing it down or pressing it down or pushing it away or letting it go. And that's also what you physically do. But the dip, uh, the breathe and mm -hmm. blow out. So it's not only positive thinking, it's going, being brave enough to go to the worst of the worst. And of course, positive thinking helps as well. But you can say positive things 20 hours a day but if there's a lot of negative emotion, or there's no negative emotion, uh, emotion you don't, it doesn't make you better. If that's much, if that's stronger, it doesn't help. I can say to myself every time, oh, you're so nice, so relaxed, so beautiful. But if inside me, I think I'm not good enough, the positive thinking doesn't work. All right. So, it's it's much more than positive thinking. Well, Jeanette, we thank you so much for sharing with us today. And you do Skype sessions as well as in-person yes. sessions, correct? Yeah. 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 Recently, I've been doing a Skype session with someone in Beijing, wow. in China. Isn't it a miracle? It's someone in the middle of China who's depressed finds me in the Netherlands yes. and contacts me. And I'm doing South America, yeah, and it's lovely. Or oh, Zoom, Skype or Zoom, it works very good. All over the world. All over the world. And I'll have her information up at the end of this video. We, Jeanette and I thank all of you for watching today. And remember, no matter what you've experienced in the past, today is a new day. See you next time. See you. Thank you.